Conspiracy Truth with Francis Wolf. Guys, you those lines in the sky, just stand for ten minutes and watch them as they expand across the sky. Today's guest is Cuba Sting. We're talking about you and you. That's, uh, it's happening for the contrail. Now they're doing contrail, right? They exploded and expanded across the sky. That's what happens. You look up in the sky every day, there is either planes flying with short little lines with their contrails, and you don't see that very often. Contrails, not the chemical, the contrails occur because of cold air, minus 30. It takes a high altitude, around 30,000 feet plus. There's a carbon dioxide and water vapor in that exhaust. That turns to ice crystals, and that's what you see, the white stream behind it. Those white crystals of ice warm up, dissolve, and the smoke goes away. And it never lasts more than a minute. What we're seeing now, and I first could not believe it, and I started looking at the skies, and these are not normal. They're not natural. There's something going on. I don't know who it is or why they're doing it. All I can testify is it's not natural and it's not normal. Night the street gun drill, and then it makes a couple of big UEs there at corkscrew. The you know, engineer is not real. I mean, you know how many countries are involved? Okay, Russia, Sweden, Canada, uh, Mexico, uh, Great Britain, what do we got here? China, Israel, India, Australia, Kenya. You want some figures? Okay, latest water test, tested the rain. 13,100 micrograms per liter of aluminum in the rain in 2013. Normally, it should be zero. zero. So 13,100 is pretty damn much, folks. It used to be zero. <laughs> then it was 100s in the 2000s. And then in, uh, since 2010... We have clouds in the sky we've never seen before. Almost every day I'm seeing clouds I've never seen before. And NASA has been even named a few of these new clouds uh, it's it's really interesting but nasa is a corporation i want you mm -hmm. to know that go look up the companies that are uh, you can actually hire to come and they will cloud seed uh, around you know your area if you're having a wedding that day and you don't want it to rain who would have thought sunset here it's uh, about nine of eight eight thirty here and your weird pink clouds i took a picture of them earlier look at that and then you come over here. The eyelash, eyelashes on that sucker. Yeah, there's geoengineering and everything. It's a huge, huge problem. Because as it comes down, what happens is a couple of things. Hmm. Is that it actually is in our air, we breathe it. And as we breathe it, it's actually going to go up through our nostrils, into our brain, easiest access to our brain frontal lobe. Mm -hmm. The contaminants that are in, that have been identified, which already been mentioned, are aluminum. Mm -hmm. Aluminum is the number one neural uh, free radical generator to the brain to cause early apoptosis, which is early death of brain, brain, and it begins to set off the scar tissue, which we call the amygdalin, which is a pot that, which is part of the uh, chemical matrix related to Alzheimer's. Teaching this to children that this is normal. Right across in the sun. Well, it's funny, the issues that we're dealing with today, I mean, who would have thought? We'd... Smiling, smiling now. I'm doing good. Throw the script out the goddamn window. Uh, he knows my stuff. Yeah, the hip sugar. Come on and shake. <laughs> Some of us are awake while others can see nothing. But I don't even believe them. It's not their fault. Look at that. I'm back to the show. Go show them the video. In the next uh, day or so, nothing really is going to change very much. I was the founder of the Weather Channel, not the co-founder. And I'm glad you did, because I am addicted to the Weather Channel. I watch a lot I'm of cable news. I'm talking now. Hold on just well, a minute. I'm not done. And CNN has taken a very strong position on global warming that is that it is a consensus. Well, there is no consensus in science. Science isn't a vote. Exactly. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about Although there will be subtle changes. The... What there I is do, no global warming. What I do wonder is when you see the government, when you see NASA, when you see other institutions say that 97% of climate scientists agree, do you think they're making it up? I, I, what I don't understand is how you well, square that. Well, that's a manipulated that. figure, and let me explain it to you. Exactly. Uh, the the uh, government puts out about $2.5 billion directly for climate research every year. It only gives that money to scientists who will produce scientific results that support the global warming hypothesis of the Democrat Party of position. Uh, global warming, which is a direct result of chemtrails in the first place. Uh, how do you actually get people to 
believe what's happening. Now's the time. Uh oh, okay. You gotta get <laughs> now up there. Now's the time to we'll get back to the show. Oh, God, oh, God. Again, I'm gonna throw some. Believe me? Yeah, some of the aircraft are clearly and inarguably emitting a trail of sprayed aerosol particulates that is being turned on and off. Pulses or bursts of spray emissions that prove beyond any reasonable doubt that what we are seeing is absolutely not condensation, as so called quote, official agencies and experts have told us. What this means is. Fuel engineering is real, it's happening. Whether you believe it or not, you're being affected by it. Okay? It's a great deal. Just want to let Francis Wolf know that. It'll get worse if we don't wake up and take back our skies, all right? I can't do it anymore. Do it. You gotta do it with us. Yeah. That's ambition. Let's go tumble him down. Here we go. Here's he drew. Francis Wolf. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God